What's up guys, it's Megan. I am super duper excited for this Dollar Tree ornament DIY. Also, I'm ready, tis the season. I'm super duper excited for Vlogmas and for all these videos and all the DIYs. You cannot believe, <laughs> cannot believe it. So today I am making this DIY ornament from the Dollar Tree. Of course, I love the Grinch. That's like my favorite holiday movie. So I wanted to share how I made it. You don't need any like die cutting machine. You just need a pencil, a printer, some paint, and some felt. That's pretty much it. So all items that you could pick up at the Dollar Tree. Super duper excited. Uh, this is an amazing collaboration with so many other channels. So please, please go check out their channels. They will all be listed down in the description below. And let's just hop into making this amazing Grinch DIY Dollar Tree ornament. So the base of our wooden ornament is going to be this wooden round that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be using two different kinds of green paint. Um, that one you could just pick up at any craft store. This one I actually got at Joanne's, it was on clearance and that is a glitter one. And once again, this regular acrylic paint, green, you could use any color, but you want to get one for the Grinch. And I'm just painting this, honestly it took about three or four good coats to, I mean, the the acrylic paint from like Walmart or Joann's it's not always the best so you definitely want to get an opaque look if that's what you're going for it was what I was going for and so I am taking now my image that I'm going to be using which is the Grinch face I'm going to be making it the size of what I want my ornament to be and then I'm going to print it because I am going to start tracing and transferring it onto my ornament so that if you don't have a Cricut or any die cutting machine or anything like that you can easily transfer this image onto it. So once you have your image cut out and printed to the size that it needs to be, you want to apply heavy pressure using a graphite pencil onto the back of your design. So covering all the parts that you're going to end up printing onto your uh, ornament or whatever design that you're going to transfer onto. And then when you're done doing that, you are going to add it to your dry <laughs> ornament and I am just using some painter's tape to keep it in place and then you are going to use heavy pressure to trace over those lines once again. And once you're done tracing it, you can remove the paper and then it'll be like magic your pencil will have shown up there and then you can use a paint marker or anything like that. I ended up using a paint marker. Um, I typically like to use Posca paint markers, but I could not find mine today, so I had to use another one. And yeah, it just makes it a lot easier. It's almost as if you're using a marker, but it'll stay because it's a paint pen. And then with my yellow paint, uh, Posca paint marker, I went in and I did the eyes and then I did some of the highlights in the white of the eyes. So you could use a white paint, paint marker for that as well as a yellow paint marker for that. For our Grinch hat, I took a circle of red felt, I cut it in half and then I'm going to cut like a third of it, a triangle out of it. Um, I kind of have a little stencil that I use or a template that I use to know where I'm going to cut, but you cut about a third of it. And then you're going to roll that up and then that's going to be your hat. You're going to hot glue it. Um, you can see I'm using a low temp hot glue gun, it makes it a lot easier on your fingers, but this will help uh, make your hat. Next, I am taking some uh, white felt that I picked up from Dollar Tree, and I'm taking um, the length of what it is to go around. I mean, I'm not a math person, so if, like there's a real term for that, you can let me know. Um, but the length of what it is to go around the circle um, from the seam to the other seam. Uh, so you could see I fold it over so you have a clean seam on the edges and then I am just hot gluing it around and then I had a little bit extra so I cut that off and then I glued it to where the seam was and then we have our hat. 
Now this next item is I think the only one that you can't truly find at Dollar Tree, but I found this green feather boa. Who knows, your Dollar Tree might have one, I'm not sure. My Dollar Tree doesn't have very good stuff, so you never know. But I found this green uh, feather boa on Amazon and I wanted to use that for a little Grinch hair and then I put a little dollop of, uh, of hot glue and I folded the hat back. I'm also using a white pom-pom to use on the back of the hat and then I'm going to add the hat onto the ornament. And finally, I wanted to just add a little bit more Grinchy hair, Grinch fur, to the hat area just so that it looked like he was extra fuzzy. And yeah, I just took some scraps of the feather boa that I had and cut one more piece and that was it. So here is your Dollar Tree inspired Grinch ornament. I hope you guys like this. I hope it's helpful and happy holidays, everyone. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm super excited about how it turned out. I love making Dollar Tree DIY ornaments. Pretty much anything from the Dollar Tree DIY is my favorite thing to do, especially when it comes to Christmas stuff. So I would love to hear if you guys have any other ideas for Dollar Tree DIYs, Dollar Tree DIY ornaments, because I am all about saving money and also bringing Christmas cheer to everyone and making ornaments, because I love ornaments. Who doesn't love ornaments? Many of you guys know what Vlogmas is, but I am participating in Vlogmas. This is my third year doing it. I'm super duper excited because uh, it's always a challenge creatively and it's just so much fun to connect with everyone. But I am posting videos on December 1st to December 25th every single day. So come back tomorrow to see what we have planned. Every day is something different. Usually a Disney DIY, Disney haul, Disney pins, all the Disney things, unboxings, you name it gonna be here this month. I'm super duper excited to share with you guys. And of course, happy holidays, stay safe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.